tiny variations we see in the cosmic microwave background come from quantum fluctuations stretched during inflation, leading to density variations that form the universe's structure, stars, galaxies, and galaxy clusters. For the flatness problem, inflation works similarly. It doesn't require the entire universe to be nearly flat. The rapid expansion stretched space so much that our observable universe became indistinguishable from flat geometry, like stretching a circle so much that its curve seems like a straight line, or how Earth appears flat locally. As for topological defects like monopoles, we don't observe them not because they don't exist, but because inflation's rapid expansion pushed them beyond our horizon. They're out there, just unobservable. Inflation resolves several Big Bang theory problems while preserving its successes. If we define the Big Bang as the expansion from when the observable universe was tiny, denser, and hotter, without rewinding all the way to a singularity where physics breaks down, we can say inflation preceded the Big Bang. Diagrams showing the Big Bang followed by inflation are incorrect. A more accurate timeline labels it as the chronology hints at the Big Bang, where inflation kickstarted what we call the hot Big Bang. 